What's up, YT? This is your boy DJY, and I'm back with another episode. Guys, today we have talked about legendary Weezy and 2 Chains. Guys, if you don't know, Lil Wayne and 2 Chains announced new collaborative project. So, guys, in today's episode, I want to show you 2 Chains' previous new single with Lil Wayne. Check this out. Yo, yo, pressure out now. New single out now. Welcome to College Road One Way. Me and 2 Chains. In the kitchen, scale bark on the pussy. Yo, we kicking now. You know this your pressure, cause they. Guys, honestly to say, this track really sounds too dope, man. All the fans are so happy finally they dropping their high anticipated projects we was waiting so long. Guys, if you don't know, they have also so many future guests. They have some big names in their upcoming album. As I know, they have Jay-Z, also they have Swiss Beats, Rich the Kid and Uncle Snoop Dogg. Also guys, today is birthday of legendary Snoop Dogg. I want to wish him everything best, bro. Uncle Snoop truly deserves everything best in his beautiful, legendary life, man. Today, legendary West Coast rapper turned 52 years old, man. This guy is fucking legend, man. Shout out to Uncle Snoop Dogg. We love you, King. So guys, before I will finish the video, I have a question all the day. Guys, honestly, tell me what is your all-time favorite album by Lil Wayne and 2 Chainz? Guys, honestly, to say Carter 3 is my all-time favorite project by Lil Wayne, aka Weezy Goat, Weezy Baby. So guys, it was all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to YTV, get the notification bells and visit hiphoptv.com. Also, before I will finish the video, I want to show you a little documentary about Lil Wayne. Check this out. The crowd and I'm loud in living color. It is Weezy F, Ken Baby. Got these rappers in my stomach. Lil Wayne opens his 2005 deep cut, Best Rapper Alive, foreshadowing the years to come. Wielding words like swords, Wayne is one of the most masterful lyricists of our time, delivering mind-boggling verses for the last quarter century. The former honors student dropped out of school at 14 to focus on his music career, five years after entering the mentorship of Cash Money Records co-founder Birdman. Around that time, Wayne joined the Hot Boys with fellow rappers Juvenile, BG, and Turk and they topped Billboard's top Randy B. Hip Hop albums chart in 1999 with Guerrilla Warfare. It would be the first of 12 chart-topping albums for Wayne, including his iconic The Carter series, boasting a plethora of platinum plaques in the process. With the first week million seller, The Carter 3, and its smash hits A Millie and Lollipop in 2008, the latter of which was his first Hot 100 No. 1, topping the chart for three weeks, Wayne successfully exploded onto the mainstream, setting the stage for rap hopefuls and fellow Billboard all-time chart stars Drake and Nicki Minaj, both of whom Wayne helped develop into the global icons they are today by way of his Young Money Cash Money record label. But despite the crossover success, Wayne continued to feed his mixtape Wheezy fanbase with cult favorite series like Did Drought, No Ceilings, and Sorry for the Wait, and fearlessly reinvented himself with a rap rock sound via 2010 album Rebirth, which continues to inspire new school rappers like Lil Uzi Vert and Playboy Cardi. Lil Wayne's cultural, sonic and lyrical influence will forever be embedded into the fabric of hip-hop, by way of his talent as both an artist and as an NR.